What's up, guys? It's that time of the month. We are going to go over the bet tracker for the month of June to see if we turn a profit or not. Now, the results, they might just shock you. All right. So now let's get into it, guys. Let's check out exactly how we did in the month of June. So first thing I want to show you guys here, you might see something that looks a little different. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead pretty much get your attention right here where it says total units gained. All right. Right there shows you how much you're making, you know, throughout the whole entire month. All right. So we started out month of uh, June right off the right off the bat making a unit you know 1.26 units so pretty solid right out the right out the gate we got even even better in the first week all right so we got all the way to the sixth we we're up 3.7 units so pretty solid start to june then guess what started getting a little bit of a recorrect that goes down here so like i said sports betting is like a roller coaster you go up you're gonna come down you're gonna go up then you're gonna come down it's just the way it goes all right so getting back to what i was saying here as we were working our way through the beginning of june so we, we were on a high level here at 3.7 units then all of a sudden started going down a little bit then we get in the negative all right so now we start you know getting the negative here we're at negative 2.34 at one point so now we're like all right we got some work to do all right so we got some work to do here we got to try to fight to get back to even which is exactly what we did we got back to even around right here which was the 10th and then started fighting our way up a little bit and then got knocked down again all right so this is going to show you guys exactly what it's like to bet at a high level at a professional level and what it looks like the roller coaster ride that you go on when you're betting on sports at a professional level all right so we go we're almost about 2.6 units down here by the 12th all right so we got some work to do we got to fight back to even again so what do we do we fight back to even again around the 14th now we start going up a little bit we're going up the roller coaster again like i said you go up and down up and down so now by the 16th we're up 2.65 units all right so at this point me because I've seen this year after year after year, I'm thinking, ah, this month might not be that good because we got some work to do to really keep this, you know, just in the range of turning a profit. All right. So as you can see from that point, we start pretty much just hitting basically even for about a week there, just going up and down, up and down, hovering around the same stuff. All right. Then as we keep going, we take a big hit. All right. We take a pretty big hit here and we get all the way down to almost negative three units. All right, so we start going downwards a little bit here. Now, as you can see, we have work to do. We got to fight back again. This is the third time this month where we got to try to fight back. This is what happens in sports betting, guys. You got to fight back sometimes. So now we're trying to fight back, and what do we do? By the 22nd, we get back to even, just up a little bit. All right, and then once things start seeming a little bit, bit good, you know, we're getting up maybe a unit or so, we get knocked back down again. All right, it happens, it happens, up and down, up and down. As we go through, now we're getting towards the end of the month. At this point, I'm already known from experience, I'm like, this month might not be a profit. All right, might not be a profit. So as we get down towards the end of the month, you can see we pretty much hovered around the same area here, just couldn't really break through that threshold and ended up losing 4.20 units, all right, all together. So total units, we ended up losing 4.20 units, which is a losing month, all right? Our last losing month was February of 2021. All right, so it happens. You could average pr pretty much one losing month per year. All right, that really you can you can bank on that as a professional sports better because it happens. Trust me, it happens. Sometimes you work all month and you don't get paid for it. All right, guys. But like I said, we ended up not turning a profit for this month. But our last month that we didn't turn a profit was February of 2021, which a lot of you guys that are watching this probably have been with us since then and have seen. All right, so you can see that it's not always sunshine. You're not always going to make money every single time. All right, there are some times where you're not. But listen. If you can profit 11 out of 12 months out of the year, then you're doing pretty good and you're making a pretty good living off of it. All right. So this is professional sports betting. This is betting at a high level. If you think you can withstand this stuff and you can withstand the ups and downs of what it's like to be a sports better, then more, you know, more than likely you'll be able to actually succeed. All right. If you can't handle this stuff, then sports betting is probably just not for you. All right. So I just want to make you guys realize that this is what real sports betting looks like. All right. This is why it's so hard to do this at a high level, because 99% of people will not withstand this whole entire month to actually end up not making anything. All right. Because guess what happened right after June, July started and pretty much erased this deficit. All right. Right at the beginning of July, we erased that deficit. So you got to know that there's a next month. You know, there's a there's a new day. There's a new week. It's you got to keep going. You just got to keep going at it. All right. That's the only way that you could do this at a high level. And that's why so many people end up actually failing when it comes to sports betting because they can't withstand that. But guess what happens when you are able to do this consistently? You do it at a high level. You stay disciplined. You do exactly what you're supposed to be doing. Look over the whole entire year. 
All right, over the whole entire year, we're up 43.65 units. All right, so giving back four units in one month is nothing. That's nothing, obviously, right? That's nothing, because guess what? If you're just gonna give back in one month, let's just say June is gonna be our only losing month, you can just expect nothing but profit from there. So that's what it's like to do this at a high level to bet. And you're not gonna know this stuff unless you are tracking your stuff. That's why it's so important to be able to track all your bets because that's the only way you can actually see if you are winning on a month to month basis or if you are losing on a month to month basis, if you're donating your money or you're actually collecting, there's no other way to know unless you are tracking your stuff. All right. That's why it's very, very important. Now, if you guys do want to learn how to do this at a high level and do this at a professional level, then click the link down below. All right. Make sure you guys click the link down below and book a call. That way you guys can come work with me one on one and I can show you guys exactly how to take your sports betting to the next level. So thanks for watching the video, guys. I will see you guys next time. Till then, I'm Frank Linemaker Sports. See you later.